Hey YouTube, this is W7 MBP here. Uh, Going to do a review on my Still MS291 chainsaw. I've had it for roughly four years. Cut um, a cord and a half of wood every year. Um, probably we're not look we're not talking about hardwood like oak. Um, most of the stuff that I'm cutting is um, pine and fir. Um, so just kind of give you you know so you can qualify my review on this um kind of go over it it's got uh 55.5 cc's three and three quarter horsepower weighs about 12 pounds i have a the 20 inch bar on it um that's about it um just kind of go over i i do use the steel uh HP Ultra Synthetic Oil to Blend. I bought a case of it when I when I bought the saw and they extended my warranty for a year. Um, I also use the steel chain lube. It does really well. It's pretty sticky. Stays on the chain. Um, just heads up. Don't use motor oil. Um, chainsaw uh, lube. Chain lube contains a wax on it so it helps you helps that oil uh, stick to your chain instead of flying off and making a mess and it and it lasts longer um, it's kind of my setup that I take in the field got a little tank 50 to 1 um, I also um, uh, have used organ chains um, there that, that's the little tab size model number of the chain that I order um, I'm on my second chain I still have my first one, and what I do is just cycle them out. Um, just a heads up, I'm a horrible chainsaw uh, sharpener, chain sharpener, and I found that the local hardware store up here, he will sharpen my chain for eight bucks, and it's like brand new. So I just bought another chain and uh, just keep it in my box, and they're easy to change out. Um, where I live, we have a lot of loggers, and one of the things they told me is every time you uh, swap your chain out, flip your bar, and it will keep your wear of your bar because you're you're constantly putting pressure on this side of the bar, and what it does, it'll wear out those rollers under there and down here. So just a, a little heads up on that. Um, it's a chainsaw. Um, I'm glad I got this one when I first started doing uh, came up here and bought a chainsaw I was thinking well, maybe I'll get something smaller and in reality when you're uh, running a chainsaw um, You'll get used to the the weight of it They're heavy, but in the field nobody ever says I wish my chainsaw had less horsepower it's just uh Get a good chainsaw. Get one with plenty of horsepower on it. Um, if you can pick it up and, and move it around, you'll be happy that you got the big chainsaw. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't need, know that we need a logging chainsaw, but they they do get expensive. But if you're talking, uh, you know, 50 bucks, bite the bullet, get the bigger chainsaw. Um, this one's easy to use. Uh, chain lube fill goes right here. Cap comes off easy. Um, keep it full. What I do is when I end my day, come back here, I fill it up. Here's my gas. Easy choke, all that. Starts easy. Um, <clears throat> it's a two-stroke. And Like I said, I use the steel chainsaw. And up here, we can buy non-ethanol gas. So I only run non-ethanol gas in it. Just so when it stores, it doesn't turn to glue. Um... You know, chain, the chain is easy to tighten. It's loose right now, but I don't run it a whole lot tighter than that. You can loosen your bolts here, and it's got a little tool, which is just a screwdriver you put in there. And, you know, it's got a little to tighten it up, uh, turn it clockwise. Um, I don't really know what to say about it other than um, I like it. Um, I know there's, there's other chainsaw brands out there. I like steel. Um, just, I had owned another one in the past, just a little small chainsaw, and I've never heard anything bad about them, so that's what I went with. I can't remember what I paid for it, but 
I think it was over $600. Um, I bought it at Ace Hardware uh, up here. Those are the, the dealers. Um, they have shops up here, like I said, up in the northwest. We have lots of loggers. The loggers, you know, they'll they'll recommend to you uh, Husqvarna or Steel. Um, you really can't go wrong with those two. Um, like I said, um, get yourself a little, you know, a little box, put your tools in it. Um, and I would say, get an extra chain. Like I said, here's this one. Need, this one's going back uh, to get sharpened. And for eight bucks, it runs like a new chain. Again, there's that part number for an organ chain. The other thing I found out, this is a 20 inch blade. Um, also, you can get it with an 18 inch blade. Some people get that because you're not pulling so much and um, your, your chainsaw will run better um, with a shorter blade. But up here, we got pretty good log, good size logs. Um, and you can also, on a bigger chainsaw, the next size up, you can get a skip tooth chain, and it will. And basically, what it does, your 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 it skips the tooth ever ever so often, and so you've got less drag on your chain. And it'll run quicker, higher RPMs, do better. This one I can't find a skip uh, tooth chain, so I just run the regular. Um, hope this helps. I know I didn't give you a whole lot of information, but I just wanted to give you my two cents on it. Um, uh, again, this is the steel MS-291. Um, uh, chainsaw. It's pretty much kind of for cutting firewood. I don't, it's not a logging chainsaw, but it does a really good job. It'll run through, uh, you know, a 16-inch diameter um, red fir type of uh, log, you know, I don't know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, without holding too much pressure on it. Um, make nice big chips. One of the other things I learned coming up here, and when your blade starts producing chainsaw, time to time to sharpen it. Um, you want nice big flakes coming off of it, and that that's showing that you're taking good bites out of it, and your chain chain is sharp. Um, that's it. Uh, W7 MVP. Thanks for your time. If you get a chance, subscribe. I would appreciate it. Uh, 73s, and see y'all later.